Uh, it was our conclusion, uh, based on 250 interviews with academics, scientists, intelligence, uh, military, and political officials, that it is more likely than not that a weapon of mass destruction will be used someplace in the world prior to the end of the year 2013. We also found that it was more likely that that weapon would be biological than nuclear. Uh, we also found that our margin of safety uh, has been diminishing. That is not because we have not been doing important things. In many areas, we have improved the security of the nation. However, while that has been occurring, there have also been changes in the environment in which we are operating, particularly as it relates to biological weapons, which have made them more accessible uh, to potential terrorists. The terrorists are organizationally sophisticated enough to get either the nuclear or bioweapons, but the bioweapon would be even easier for them to get and then to weaponize, and also for them to reload or to repeat. In other words, if they get a nuclear weapon, it's likely they'd only get one, at least initially, because you have to come up with the nuclear material to do it. But if they isolate a pathogen um, and are able to weaponize it, there's no reason they wouldn't be able to make more than one weapon and attack more than once. And since you don't know necessarily that a biological attack is occurring, uh, that's a real possibility for them. So we have a big focus on bio. Uh, we, we, we say to the government, look, you need to shift away, not away from, but not just on consequence management, trying to deal with the effects of an attack, but to be more aggressive in trying to prevent it, in particular by building a culture of accountability and a partnership with the life science community, uh, reforming how we regulate the high containment labs where they work on these kinds of, uh, of pathogens, and have a single agency responsible. Uh, on the nuclear side, uh, there's a number of important recommendations with regard to the nuclear regime, the international protocols. In addition, uh, we say focus on Pakistan. And of course, we decided that some time ago uh, as a group, and then the events of the last weekend just show one of the reasons it's important. Pakistan is the epicenter of a lot of, of, of these dangers. 